Hey, feel I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave the money that say stick up. She picture perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker. Feel I'm in the mood for a change up. I leave the city and return with my change up. They got amnesia, don't remember how they played us. They wanna knock me down, but somehow I just stay up. Dude, what the? Damn, this is so frustrating, guys. I don't think you understand. Like, I just... All right, boys, if you guys remember, which you guys should, we built this go-kart. Matt has one already. We built them, pretty dialed, but just, just not good enough. We gotta be official with this, so check this out. We got full on legit shifter cart chassis. Both these carts have won championships, I don't know, but check this out. Front brakes and rear brakes. These things also need to get cleaned up right now. They're pretty dirty. My chassis is 2008, Matt's is 2018, I believe. Yeah, even though we, we just built this thing and got it all dialed in, transferring over again. Things just ain't cutting it, dude. We want the real deal, okay? We're trying to go F1 here. So Red Bull, if you see this, sponsor us, bro. <laughs> Give us a chance. We're hoping that this mount will just mount right up. We do have to run a 428 chain. Shouldn't be an issue, but as always, when you don't think it's gonna be an issue, something always ends up happening and you have to fix something. So wish us luck, here we go. Also got this legit seat. Be a lot better than this one. This one was tight as hell. Like, I'm not even kidding. It was pushed on my hips pretty good. So, line her up right there. Damn, bro, that thing looks sick. The issue with these is these suck so bad with the turning. So we were like, yo, we gotta fix that up. So look at guys, when you turn right, watch this wheel, how tall, how hard that thing turns, and then watch that wheel. Look at that wheel. It's Barely. Something to do with that makes it steer good. I don't even know. I don't know what it is. If you guys race go-karts, comment down below. It's something to do with physics. I don't freaking know. But the turning should be a little... Yeah, or they're I don't think they're broken, but it should be a lot more legit. So this right here, we got some red wrap on here. Sorry, bud. Bad, bud. Short and sweet. It's got so much stuff. You need new wheels. This is how the motor's the motor's mounted up. So this basically needs to come off, and then we need to add this bracket on this side because we want the chain. So on my other setup, the chain was on the outside. This time we want it on the inside. I think it's a bit safer. Kind of doing the same exact setup right here. Where, move this. The chain's gonna be on the inside. You guys can see that. I just think it'd be a lot safer like that too. Driving around or whatnot. And I think it'd just run better like that. For now, get the paint off and then some good old welding. an hour right there so we got to mount up a tray right here in the corner because we need somewhere to mount this battery thinking right here check that out and it's just enough Matt's legit his cart's newer so it's a little bit different so right here he has a bar my bar goes all the way up here but his is legit so cut out this aluminum right here it's looking good Matt's cart is about done this sucks dude if you guys are thinking about doing this tell them it sucks. It sucks. <laughs> like it's not it's not fun. Also, check this out. These things are pretty bunk. Randall had it cut out for a radiator. <laughs> Shout out Randall. Thanks, dog. He also gave me these ones, and I think these ones look a little more legit. I just painted them black today. I'm probably going to end up wrapping them because I think wrap just looks a bit cleaner than this does. But yeah, for now, we got to cut up this aluminum, and we got to do it now before the sun goes completely down because it is going to be loud as hell. You guys want to build these? Like, these things are dumb fun, but like converting it and stuff and just... It's, it takes a lot more time and effort than you guys would think. So, if you're gonna do it, just just know what you're getting yourself into. All right, this looks a little intricate here. It does. So, that's how we're looking.
probably should be filming a lot more of this, but you're gonna get to a point where you just do not care and just want to put the thing together. I guess cue another time lapse. Turn the music back up. We got the motor mounted up, the controller mounted up, the throttle. We've got a breaker on off button right here. And then obviously you guys seen this already, the plate. So next up is the seat. And then this thing will be ready to rip. We gotta clean it up a little bit. Clean off the rust on the back right here. It's looking a little bit. Oh yeah, and mount up the new plastics on the sides. So. Batteries in. It's time to tune it. Oh. Update number six or nine or something like that. Look over here. This is the final piece of the puzzle. It looks pretty, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it looks better than the other ones, than like the older ones. Not so. yet, not yet. That looks better. But yet. it's not, it's, it's not done yet, dude. I'm just trying to rip this thing, okay? Yeah, oh my, look at the chain. What? What is happening? Bro, why is this thing so much lower? What is happening with the chain? Dude, the motor mounts are hitting the, why am I elevated off the ground right now? Sketch, look how loose it is. Build yourself a Sauron go-kart, guys. Leg day. Harley leg bro. On the old go-kart, I bought some brand new set of wheels. I'm gonna return these things, so I didn't think I had to use for them. Dude, so these are like perfect street wheels. Look, okay, just a little bit. So I had an extra one of these laying around. So it doesn't look like it, but one of, the, oh, it might be that one right there. Okay, one of these two, these teeth is a little bit crooked. So also the motor's going the opposite way. So yeah, I don't know, it could have been all sorts of different things, but this has been on my Suron, the stock motor, since I got the thing for like years. And then right now I just have a Warp 9 one that I've had sitting around my house for like probably a year or two. But took the front bumper off because it looked like trash, honestly, and I kept dragging it on everything. Need to get a different front end like mats. But this thing's ready to go. guys here we have it it is like 95 percent done i would say because i'm still having an issue but if you look at it in all its glory right here check this thing out full-on shifter car this is obviously a major upgrade from the previous car that i had uh running the exact same setup we have plastics on the sides but not on the front or the rear only right here i need to get like the more modern ones because the more modern ones look cooler like look at mats it looked a lot better than what was on this thing but i like the purple i like the gold front brakes and rear brakes this thing's like pretty much 95 percent done it's almost ready to rip it's not quite there just yet that's pretty much it check this out right here it's the best part of this whole thing look at that license plate dog I'm getting serious we're gonna do a little a little cruise it'll be like the first cruise i wouldn't even say first drive because this thing is not completely drivable yet oh Hella scrapage. Oh, what? is that a drill? All right, so this is my issue here. So if you guys kind of have an idea, it's like vibrating super bad. Realign the sprocket, everything. Change this front sprocket. Hey, you know what? At least my alignment's straight. Damn, this is so frustrating, guys. I don't think you understand. Like, I just, the last three days have been working on these stupid go-karts. I shouldn't even say stupid. It's just like frustrating as hell, especially when it just doesn't work. But this thing 
turns, like going this slow, like, like understeer and not turning on my other go-kart was a huge, huge issue. Whoa. Was a huge issue. This one, dude, what the frick? It vibrates so bad. I can't even really drive it. I mean, the cart's legit. Once I figure this thing out, like, this whole setup should be absolutely insane. Like, <laughs> it's vibrating so bad, too. Yeah, this thing is literally just a piece of crap right now. Damn, it looks good though. I like the way it looks, low key. What the? All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, be sure to subscribe next video. Hopefully this whole situation will get taken care of and I could absolutely just rip this thing. They're meant to go 140 miles an hour. Like these are full on race chassis. Like we went down two or three hours away, picked it up. It was like a full day trip thing. But you could just tell how much beefier this thing is. I have the side skirt or the side plastics. Need the front, need the rear. Um, the seat is legit. Steering wheel is from my old cart, but it's like brand new. So like I'm not going to let this thing go to waste. I like it. All right, guys. That's pretty much it for this video. Wish me luck. Next one should be me shredding this thing. Look at this, guys. I'm getting a tow. I'm getting towed for Matt, dude.